Good morning. Happy Easter. He is risen. Uh, this is day 24 of California's uh, stay at home orders. And uh, yeah, let's, let's welcome the Lord. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for life today. Thank you for the gift, Lord God, of your favor that we do not deserve. We pray, Lord, uh, just anything uh, that is not of you, anything that blocks us from intimacy with you, Lord, we lay before you. Any offenses, Lord God, against you or against one another, we would give to you put on the cross and you would be crucified. And we pray that uh, we would be able to receive the forgiveness uh, through your son Jesus. You would cleanse us. You would make us new. And Father, we ask for your Holy Spirit uh, to guide us into your truth this morning. Open our eyes so we may see, Lord, the gift and the gifts that you have given us. And we would give praise to you. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, so this is our Easter edition of, of our time with Jesus. And so we're going to, once again, we're still in the book of John, but we will skip ahead to John chapter 20. John chapter 20. And I'm going to start from verse 11 and I read to verse 18. Uh, and I'm reading from the NIV, so you could join, uh, you could read on a paper Bible, or you could read uh, on an online Bible to follow along. And uh, just a little bit of context right before this. So right before this, uh, Mary Magdalene, um, one of Jesus' followers, uh, comes uh, early in the morning to uh, find that the tomb that Jesus was laid in was empty. She tells uh, the disciples, uh, they look inside and they see, in fact, it is empty. Uh, and then they run back uh, to tell their friends. Uh, but Mary Magdalene is left there. And this is where we pick up from, from verse 11. And we want to ask ourselves, what does this passage tell us about God? Starting from verse 11. Now Mary stood outside the tomb, crying. As she wept, she bent over to look into the tomb and saw two angels in white seated where Jesus' body had been, one at the head and the other at the foot. They asked her, Woman, why are you crying? They have taken my Lord away, she said, and I don't know where they have put him. At this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing there, but she did not realize that it was Jesus. He asked her, Woman, why are you crying? Who is it you are looking for? Thinking he was the gardener, she said, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have put him, and I will get him. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned toward him and cried out in Aramaic, Rabboni, which means teacher. Jesus said, Do not hold on to me for I have not yet ascended to the Father. Go instead to my brothers and tell them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went to the disciples with the news, I've seen the Lord, and she told them that he had said these things to her. So what does this passage tell us about God? Let's take a minute to just reflect on that. And uh, if anything comes to mind, please feel free to write it down in the comments, share with us to bless us. What does this passage tell us about God?
<laughs> so what does this passage tell us about God? I see right here, um, yeah, that uh, Jesus appears first to a woman. Um, and in this time, um, a woman was not considered a, a valid witness. So, yeah, just to see that, yeah, Jesus would appear to a woman. Um, first um, to honor uh, and in that way he honors uh, women he elevates them you know because uh, this is one thing that people have said hey if this was just a made-up story right um, why would they include this right uh, because this is not even a valid witness uh, in court at this time but to see oh you know uh, this is real, right? And uh, we also see right here uh, that, yeah, uh, he stayed, he stayed there to be able to, uh, he could have just left, but he saw Mary there and he stayed there uh, to interact with her, to comfort her. Um, so you see, what does this tell us about God? It shows his compassion. It shows him seeing those who are not seen and giving them honor um, in that way. So, yeah. All right. Now, what does this passage tell us about people? What does this passage tell us about people? Uh, so I'll give us a minute to kind of think on that. Okay. So what does this uh, passage tell us about people? Um, uh, see Mary Magdalene here, and there's a lot of Marys. Um, and uh, Mary Magdalene is mentioned earlier and that she is a woman uh, who's freed from seven demons. And after that begins following Jesus. Uh, so this is not to be confused with uh, what's called the sinful woman in the book of Luke. Uh, a, lo a lot of people kind of mix them up. Uh, there's, there's no evidence that that's the same person. Um, but we do know that she had seven demons in her uh, and Jesus had freed her from that. What is it? Why did I bring that? What does this tell us about people? You see Mary's deep love. Um, she's the first one that goes to the tomb. Not even any of his 12 disciples uh, have done that. Uh, and even when the body is, is gone, she tells the 12 disciples, but then she comes back and the 12 disciples leave. But she stays. She's still overcome with grief and so distraught. Um, and that her Jesus that she loves is, is gone. Um, and at that point, she doesn't know where Jesus has been. She assumes that the body was stolen or taken. Um, 
so she's so grieved by that. Uh, it's so amazing. She 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 wept um, by the tomb, and then there's two angels in there, and they talk to her, and she doesn't even like acknowledge them. She's just like, "What have you done with Jesus?" Um, and then Jesus himself uh, is there, and she's so overcome that uh, she doesn't even recognize Jesus. Um, yeah. She says, sir, if you've carried him away, tell me where you put him. I'll get him. Um, what does this tell, us? tell me about people? Uh, we're capable of, of great love. Um, we love very deeply. Um, death and loss is, is a human experience. And, uh, yeah, it, it, could, it could be very deep and very difficult to move on, it could be very difficult to accept. Um, and sometimes we, we, we can get so um, caught up in, in our pain, uh, we don't see, we don't see life around us. We don't see what the signs God is showing us all around us. Um, so on one hand, we see uh, a human ability for deep love and connection, but we also see um, we could become so attached uh, that we, we don't see God himself. Um, yeah. Uh, but once again, it, it just, uh, it's just so, it's such a beautiful passage to see uh, the compassion of Jesus. Uh, just addressing her um, by name until she's able to really see, right? Not to see, he speaks to her. Right? Mary calls her by name. And that's when she recognizes uh, it's Jesus, you know? Um, yeah. And she sees, um, and Jesus tells her, like, I'm going to the Father, right? Um, and that's that's your father. I'm going to my God, and that's your God. Um, really connecting himself uh, to God and bringing her attention. It's like, hey, even though I'm I'm ascending, I'm going. Your father, your God, that's who I'm going to. You you have this connection, right? So it assures her even then, even even after I'm gone, don't hold on to me, right? You have a relationship with God connect to that all right um and encouraging her even even forward so yeah all right what does this uh, word have to challenge us in terms of obedience today so what what is what is god challenging us through the scripture on easter sunday this morning uh, maybe give us a little bit of time to just reflect on that what is, what is Jesus saying to us? And whatever we might be caught up in, what is Jesus saying to us this morning? I'm just going to... Lord, yeah, what do you want us to do in response to your word today? Speak, Lord, for your servants are listening. Um, yeah, I'm challenged this morning. It is very easy for me to lose focus as far as this confession. Like, I have some control issues and, you know, when things don't go my way, I, I get so upset, you know. And it's, it's so easy for me to um, lose sight of God. And when I think I'm, like, doing things for God, even I'm not even seeing God. So that's my challenge to 
stop and recognize him today. Um, to not be so focused on, on the things that I'm focused on. They may even be good things, but that I, I lose sight of God. Uh, yeah, that's my challenge this morning. Um, last, last question, who can I share this with? This is good news. Who can I share uh, this good news with? Jesus, that he, he's, he's, he's risen. We have hope even beyond death, even beyond our despair. Uh, he has given us hope. Uh, and we could go to the Father, right? God is our Heavenly Father. We could go to uh, through Jesus. Uh, so God bless you this Easter Sunday. Help us. Uh, may we see him today. All right. God bless you all. Bye.